M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Bofeng DM1701. This has been shipped from China and it has OpenGD77 built into it. I'm going to show you how to add your hotspot quickly so you can listen to items and also change the color theme and even add a local repeater. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll just turn this on and you will hear my hotspot straight away. You have many years of uh, ham radio left to go. We're, uh, doing so how have I done this? I'm just going to turn my hotspot off because otherwise it will keep coming through as I teach. So the first thing you want to do is press your red button. If you're in this window, I know there's not much there, there's no channels in mine. That's actually channel mode, but we've not added any channels. This is almost like a VFO. I've just got the thing out of the box. I just want to get it working straight away. Type in in this window and you can see two frequencies, receive and transmit. Type in your hotspot. So we're going to go 4315500. Zero, zero. Okay, and we're going to do DMR first. So press the green button and look for channel details. Go up to channel details, then select with the green button and then go up and down until you see mode. When you see mode, yours will probably say FM. Turn the middle knob the middle knob here at the top, turn it once until you see DMR, then hit the red button twice, come back, you're back to the VFO screen and if you turn it up and, I, and you turn on your hotspot you are going to hear DMR. So at this point you can listen but you can't reply because you need to get your DM, we need to get your DMR number in there and make sure that the transmit frequency is correct. So the way we're going to do this is go back into menu turn this down and we're going to scroll down back to channel details select because when you're in channel details what you're doing is it's like a very it's a really good VFO mode where you can select everything so what we're going to do is go we're already on the mode section we're going to go up one and we're just going to make sure that the receive and the transmit frequencies you can see them highlighted in blue are the same same as my hotspot which they are now we need to add a DMR ID so we're going to go down underneath the word DMR that we just selected, go down one, and then we can see it says DMR ID, and we're going to press the green button. Okay, let's do that again, menu. So what it does, it doesn't let you select it, but when you're in DMR ID, it lets you type it, and thanks to M6LSJ for that, so it's two, three, four, one, four, three seven is my dmr id select the green and we've got our dmr id in there now we go down one i don't need to change the color code or the time slot because that's correct um it's showing me talk group list but i don't think i've added one yet so in theory now if we back out completely in theory now when there's a gap we should be able to have a chat with someone okay so that's one thing. The next thing I'm going to show you is just to add, a, say, a local repeater. So we'll go menu, again to channel details. This time we don't want DMR, so we're going to go up until we see mode, and we're going to turn the middle knob so it says FM. Then we're going to go up, and we're going to put in the, tra the receive frequency of my local repeater. So we'll go one, four, five, six hundred. Okay, that's it. Then we'll go down one and we'll go one, four, five, and then all the noughts. That's, my, that's the re receive and the transmit is one, four, five. DMR ID, it's VFO. We've chosen to do that on VFO A. We don't need color code, all that, but we do need transmit CTCSS. So we go down to TXCSS, press the green button. No, it's not letting me do it when I press the green button. So let's try and do just by typing, is it? Or turning, there you are. We're turning the middle knob until we see 94.8. Okay, select the green button. So that should be enough. We got our tone in, receive, transmit, tone, 94.8. M0FXB, can you see? You can see a signal meter there and it's actually counting how many seconds I transmit. M0FXB, test, test, test. Look at that, we've actually opened up GB3WI. It was faint, but we did open it up. Only just. Okay, that's good. So the last thing we're going to show, 
Do you see it? Trying to, if I had an external antenna, we'd have that. The next, the last thing we're going to do is change some colors. Okay, let's try the colors. So we're going to go menu. This time we'll go to options, down. It says options. Then we'll select. And in general options, stay there. Don't select it. Go up to theme options. Theme are basically colors. Select it. Now yours is going to be in black and white, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to select day theme. And look, look at all these nice colors. Now, I'm just going to tell my friend Lionel, just so, because um, he's, he's with me here today. Lionel, go down to background first. Yeah. So look yeah. for the word background. When you've got it, let's just do that again. So I'm just sort of got it. I'm trying to think how you do it, how you change it. Right, so what you do, you then go to the background, you press the hash, and you can start going up and down between the blue, the red, and the green, and changing these numbers. And as you change the numbers, you change the color that you'll see. And I like mine in yellow, so I'm gonna leave it where it is, but you just play around. Okay, and then when you're happy that you've got that, how you like it, the color, hit the uh, green button again. Yeah. Okay, so play around with that, go up and down. Look, you can see that, that you can pretty much customize everything on this radio. It's not a black and white radio, it's a color radio. So now back out, and what we're just gonna have a quick look at, see if we can actually save the channel that we've got on our screen. If we can't do it in this video, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in another video, but of course you can use your code plug software. I'm not finding a channel save yet, but I will do another video. Another option you can do is if you briefly press the red button, you get that, but if you hold down, that was channel mode, if you hold down, you get the this option here where you, you've gone into basically DMR mode. If you press hash, like so, hash, type in the talk group number you like, 91, and then the green, look, you now can talk on, on talk group 91, uh, so that's what you call sort of manual dial talk group. So if I put the tar the frequency in at my hotspot, 431, five five zero zero that's my hot spot you can hear it but say i wanted to go on a different talk group i would just go hash two three five zero enter it's put two three five zero at the top there and i can now if i key up it's because someone's speaking it won't do it now but if i key up i'll be talking on talk route two three five zero that's very handy thanks for watching so far lots more to learn about this and uh, if we can add memory channels using the radio which i'm sure you can we will do that it's fantastic radio 50 quid delivered color screen open gd77 built in even has satellite mode which i'm quickly going to show you now like so look at that it's still once you've got your course your uh, details in look at the satellite stuff come on how good is that you scroll down receive transmit frequencies doppler shift the whole lot wow amazing and you back out and guess what else it does if you go menu uh, if you look around you'll see hotspot mode and this will actually act as an as a mmdvm hotspot and it will work on dmr with the blue dv system and pi star come on fantastic thanks for watching my channel thanks for the help from m6lsj73 all the best